Yo what's up guys, Bobby here, and today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get on top of this roof right here on Notchter on Toten in the custom zombies game mode glitch. Now this glitch right here was found by UBA Productions, and uh, it requires the custom game mode glitch like I said before, and uh, in this video I'll be explaining it, it's pretty darn easy as well, and uh, all you need is a friend who has played uh, Nuketown Zombies recently. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it right here. Just go to um, start up a custom game and just go to town and make sure it's on grief. And then just go to any player, uh, Andrew right here, he goes to his own recent games and he clicks on his own new town. Um, it's simple. It's so simple. I just did it on PS3 actually, which is pretty fun. Uh, so he goes on his uh, new town zombies uh, game and just clicks on it and backs out. And then uh, as you see right there in the bottom left it says uh, grief on new town for green run. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. So just um, invite all your friends and make sure you have enough money to buy the door um, right when the game starts. And uh, once you buy the door, tell all your friends to back out. So it's just you in the game. And uh, you can run and um, once you get killed by the death barrier, you sort of like respawn. And uh, as you see right here. And eventually, you'll be over here by Nacho and Toten. Takes a while to run here because there is about maybe 250 death barriers in between these. Uh, places which is a lot and it might take uh, maybe 10 minutes that's what uh, he said so um, if you guys are patient uh, it's a little rewarding the glitch so uh, once you're here just have all your friends uh, join back in the game and uh, you can just down yourself so they all respawn because you'll need them actually uh, to do the, this next part um, as you see right there that the table is gone if you guys haven't done the custom game mode glitch like a bunch of things aren't there which is um, pretty weird but uh, yeah, so once all your friends join the game, um, just go up to this ledge right here and have an enemy knife you uh, in grief. If you guys haven't played grief before, when you knife somebody that's on the uh, opposite team, they sort of go flying. So um, just jump up and down and uh, have an enemy knife you. And uh, it's just like, you know, the old knife jump glitches back in the old Call of Duties. And once you're up here, um, make sure you run across this ledge pretty fast because there is a death barrier. And if you don't go across the, um, that enough uh, fast enough... Uh, you die. So uh, once you're up here, you can have all your teammates and enemies, uh, you know, just get downed, and uh, so you're the only one alive. So um, they can all go up there with you. Now there are some death barriers up here as well. So um, you'll see um, some people get downed and just uh, die in a second right here. You see, they just go over there and just uh, just step on a death barrier and die. But yeah, that's all right up here. Now, um, RSPX Andrew 2007X, he actually found a, another cool spot to go to. Uh, if you watch right here, he goes over here, and uh, everyone backed out, so once he, he um, gets hit by the death barrier, he just sort of, you know, respawns in the uh, same exact place. And uh, you can just go over here and sort of go behind these uh, walls, I guess you can call it. And uh, there are death barriers around there, so be extra careful. But uh, yeah, so that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please like, favorite, and subscribe. Peace.